Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So, yeah, so today we're going to just have a quick look in the barracks first, or the mech bay before we do anything. So, we do need to get some cash because our Wolverine really does need to refit. Uh, it's brand new. I know it's an old piece of crap Wolverine, but we're still going to get this thing refit. We need 154000 to finish off uh, refitting this sucker. We've got a fusion core and everything for this, and we can get it up and running, but we do need to get um, some cash for this. The Locust, I'm not too concerned about, because once the Wolverine's up and running, I'm thinking we're going to move the Flea down as the command mech for the Light Lance. Um, it's running fairly well. Um, so we're going to move that down, but we're going to bring the Wolverine up into the main lance. Uh, and I'll probably end up giving that to um, Recoil right now, who's running the flea. And we're going to use this as a scout slash melee mech. Now it is easier to hit, which means I might have to pull out the NSS out of the um, urban mech for now. Um, I thought it was a good, good idea to drop it in there, but I'm thinking I may have to put that in the Wolverine to keep up the survivability on it. So that's a possibility, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so um, also I had a question a couple of episodes back about, uh, or a, a comment about Pylon. So I just want to show people here. So let's go to the Mech Warriors really quick. Um, I think they misnamed uh, Recoil as Pylon because Pylon's the guy that we send into all of the uh, um, sort of hot fire areas to uh, draw enemy fire. Now, just so you know, I do respect this guy as a pilot. And just to show you that I'm not, I'm not asking more of him than I'm at would ask of any other pilot. But if we go to the service record, you'll notice here he's taken zero injuries, and he's got zero ejections. Right, 517 days with the company, 34 kills out of 38 deployments. So this guy, I mean, I understand why he had the drug problem a little while back, which is why we gave him um, sort of his own VIP suite a little while ago. But this is the th kind of thing I'm talking about where he hasn't taken any injuries. So it's not like I'm putting, into a, putting him into a heavy line of fire here. If you look at Hickory, yeah. on the other hand, who's our missile boat, she's already taken four injuries, right? 37 mid deployments with 30 mech kills. So, I mean, she's taken more injuries. Now, you could argue that, you know, Cold Metal, who's the, uh, the commander, he hasn't taken any injuries yet. 39 deployments, 41 kills. But, I mean... I'm not asking anything more of Pylon than I'm asking out of any other pilot. So that's just, I'm just throwing that out there. It's kind of a role play thing. I want, I'm, my full intention is to keep that guy alive as long as possible because, you know, he's doing really well in that uh, Phoenix Hawk. So that being said, we're going to go to contracts now. And we're going to take, I think, um, I think we're going to take, there's a couple here that don't require, yeah, here we go, the general, I think. Um, Oxmite Providence officer is moving in the open. Yeah, so 33% bonus if you can destroy his personal guard in any other Oxmite Pro Province in the area of operation. So there's going to be a lot of mechs here probably, uh, but I think we're going to take this one to start today. Um, we have to be careful because a lot of these ones here re um, are against clan and unless we're doing half skull it's, they're extremely dangerous until we can get our Wolverine up and running and get some more firepower and stuff in there to really deal with what the, the clan has, the claners have to offer. offer. Uh, hot landing, I think we can do as well. There's an abandoned dropship. Um, I don't know why it says abandoned, but the dropship's being, um, dropping a group of mechs in, so we can do that one as well. I think, is it beefed up security we can do? Um, attacked by raiders, so... Doesn't say what these guys are, but this is another one that we could probably do as well. But uh, let's start off with the general. Let's see how we do. And we're going to negotiate. And I think what we're going to do is... I don't know. I think we're going to go full because it is one and a half skull. And we might get some good salvage, mech salvage. So we'll have to keep our eye open for that. But 162 should be okay, I think. If we don't get any good mech salvage, then we're going to go for engines and things like that. So we're going to go with our standard lance and let's deploy and get this done. Alright, so this looks like it could be tough. Um, okay, there's our main guy. 
A question. Oddly enough, I could get used to this place. How many? Uh, there's one here. Two lances. Okay, so we've encountered this map before on my Flashpoint series. So I'm wondering. Standing by. Let's get into here. See if we can get some eyes on, or at least sensors on. See what we're up against. So there's four mechs here. Uh, okay. A light and three mediums? Yeah, thanks, Darius. So, while we're moving up here, I just want to mention a couple things. So, uh, normally when I do um, videos, I record in batches of three or four at a time. Because I've got three different series right now going on for Battletech, I've got three different Battletech folders that I have to switch out. So, for this series, I have to take my Steam offline, switch the folder out so that Battletech doesn't update. Um... So, actually, we're going to reserve here. Um, so, yeah, I usually record three or four episodes at a time. So, if you make a comment and you don't see any changes right away, that's the reason why I just it's in the middle of a batch or the beginning of a batch of records. So, uh, comments or, or responses or, oh, a hunchback, or updates might not be mentioned until after that point. Um, so just keep that in mind. Also, I'm going to try and go to a couple of episodes of this series per day. It seems like, uh, great, a bushwhacker. Uh, it seems like people are really liking this uh, um, series. So I think I might go to a couple of episodes of this a day. Um, I thought about recording longer videos, but I, I do like the bite-sized nature of the ones that I record. I find some of the other ones um, that I've watched, the hour-long or over-hour-long ones, uh, just to be a little bit too much uh, for people sometimes. Simply, if you think about it, if you try and watch an hour long, wow. If you watch a um, heavy sensor impairment, what the hell is shooting at me? If you think about watching an hour a day, that's like seven hours a week. It's a lot of your life. So I try to make it in bite sized pieces so that you can just, you know, watch when you feel like it. Um, let's see. I don't think we're going to be able to do much here. we got to be very, very careful here. Are these guys fully armored? They are fully armored. Triple LRM-5s and an AC-10 double plus. This guy's the AC-10 version. Uh, I think we're going to head for the main guy and see what we get out of this. Because I don't think uh, surviving this is going to be that much of an option. If we stand and fight, this is going to be a hell of a fight. Better chances to hit on this guy. So let's go up to the hunchback. I'm going to fire. Got to watch our heat too. I mean, we could just stay on this ridge and yep. lure them in. But all of our mechs really aren't set up that way. Uh, I want direct fire, I think, on these guys. So let's move up here. All right, full speed. Yeah, we got another guy over here, too. Is that 10 tons? That's 10 tons. So that's probably the protector for this guy. Um, why is this line green? Oh, it's partially obscured, that's why. 90% chance to hit. 94. We're going to go with this guy since we've already hit him. Let's going to fire everything here. I mean, we could try to absorb these guys and pull back. Let's see how we do here. I'm going to gauge the hunchback. Let's fire everything on this guy. If 
If we're able to kill, that's a 30 tonner. If we're able to kill this hunchback, ah, crap. Sure, might as well put barely big guns into play. Why not? Got the AC-20 back. AC-10, okay. It's got, which means it has more armor. So, we got hit for... 52. 42. Not too bad, I guess. Um... So we want to stay on the flank, I guess. Um, let's get up on the hill way up here. I don't think those... Well, they might be able to see us from there. But we want to stay far back. We got the clan LMs. There's no point in closing. We're going to fire everything on this guy. Hopefully we take an arm or a leg and knock him down here. I think they all hit there. Wow. Boom. You're dead. Okay, so we do have a chance. 35 tonner. That could be from the reinforcements, though. Wield APC. Oh, fuck you and your sensor locks. Okay, pylon's moving last. What do we got here? That's the Irby. Bushwhacker, I think, should be the next target. Um... I don't think that's the boss. Question is, do we want to close here? I don't think we do. Uh, let's get into the um, swirlies over here. Sorry, I, I know they're dust doubles or whatever you want to call it, but I'm going to call them swirlies because that's what I like calling them. Moving into the swirlies. Um, that guy I'm not too worried about. He's got getting sensor lock, but I think recoil can finish him up next turn. Uh, Bushwhacker is going to require a lot of hits. Maybe we take out the light guy first. So let's fire on him. He's easier to hit. Maybe we take that arm. If we can take the arm, then I can leave him alone. Pretty darn close, but Pylon could probably finish that job up. Okay, let's get you... Um, I'm gonna get you into like this. No shooting, just running. Yeah, just running, buddy, and shooting, running and shooting. Let's fire on this guy. We're gonna dump everything into his side. Okay, so there goes the threat of the AC-10. He's a walking bullet with a medium with a small laser, so I'm not really that worried about him right now. So the next target is the bushwhacker, depending on what else comes up. But we're going to get recoil on that uh, wheeled APC to get rid of the sensor lock. Here he comes. What's he going to do? Okay. Turn his back to us. So I take it back. We can deal with the wheeled APC next. Later. Oh, Centurion. Melee Turian. As long as I'm not unsteady. Ah, crap. Armor breach. Internal damage. What has he got on him? Has he got the drill? The mining drill, yeah, figures. Gauntlet. Really? That's the main guy right there. Okay, he's already heat critical. Okay, so we have to lose this guy this turn. Bushwhacker's got to go down hard. So, um, we're going to start with Hickory since she's been sensor locked. We want to get some more um, uh, evasion back here. We're going to move into here. On it. Puts me in a hidden position from this guy, but allows me to fire straight into this guy's back. So, we're going to do that 97% chance to hit, opening up. Okay, we should be able to make him unstable using uh, recoil. How are we doing here? Okay, we strip a lot of the back. Ready for order. We need to sprint, buddy. You can't walk. All right, let's get up in here. Everything into this guy's back, please. Okay, he's going to lose all his evasion now. All right. So, pylon's next. 
we can't move very far, but we are going to move back here. Confirm. How much did we lose? Okay, we lost a fair bit of instability, but with 99% chance to hit in this guy's back, we're going to dump everything straight into it. Boom, you're dead. Attack me from, from the side, will you? Okay, so two down. Uh, the next target, I think, is going to be the Centurion. I don't like that he's that close. And I think, if we get lucky here, how fast can we go? We can't get behind him, unfortunately. I hoping to do that. So, uh, we need to clear this side out. Um, moving in like this. And we're going to dump everything straight into the side of this guy. Good chances to hit. We're going to fire. I think we're one hex away from getting in there. Getting behind him, but we'll take what we can get. He's a melee mech. I want him gone. So we're going to use these swirlies next. And the gauntlet we're going to have to leave, unfortunately. We can't be attacking him right away. What are you doing? Okay. Ah... That's almost worse than being meleeed. Okay. Still got our, our um, evasion up on that guy. Yeah, it's a back shot, but you're overheating, bud, so not really worried. Ah. Uh, okay, we're going to fade back over to the right again. Firestarter H, this guy's got to go too. We're going to fade back to the right with that bush, with that bushwhacker, or sorry, the gauntlet um, overheating. He's bound to shut down very shortly, and I want to be able to get in on that action. Once he shuts down, we're going to just blast him and kill him. But we can't shoot at him until he shuts down. Something went on the assault phase. What's going on in the assault phase? This guy. That's an assault mech? How many more turns do we got till he gets in there? Maybe one. We do have to pull back to the right then. Um, Alright, let me think about this here. If we reserve, what are we giving them? We're giving the fire starter and the urban mech a go. Um... Let's try and teach this fire starter that it's not nice to crash parties. Um, this may seem like a crazy move, but we're going to do this. Roger. We should have lots of evasion. And now that we got some target on this guy, what's his armor like? 50. He's got lots of armor. Um, he goes on turn 4 too. Nope, Firestarter's gotta be, gotta take the damage. Nope, he doesn't. Let's see if we can take this guy. Uh, we'll just fire the LRM-20. Actually, we're gonna go with the 15. We won't be able to kill him. Hmm. Only if we get lucky, we'll kill him. So, let's fire the 15 on this guy. Let's get started on him. Okay. Pew. All right, we got to kill the Centurion. Um, but I don't like the fact that a salt mech's showing up. So this guy's arm is almost gone. His torso is almost gone. He's got two light machine guns in that torso. So let's do... What's up, Commander? I want to get you away from the real threats over there. So let's get back here. Hey, let's, see what this baby can do. let's start up on this guy here. Uh, we got to turn some stuff off. The flamer's not really going to be of any value in this. So we'll leave that off and we'll fire the rest. Engage. There we go. Nice. That's a good start. So I think our Centurion might be able to bore holes through this guy. 
Phoenix Hawk is going to move back to get more stability. We're going to move back into the Whirlies. Okay. Alright, as long as that guy's shooting missiles and not sensor locking, I'm happy. Okay, cold metal. Cold metal in the afternoon. Let's put some shots into the side of this guy. Can leave off the medium laser, we'll fire the rest. Okay, that guy's gone. Three down. That bushwhacker shuts down this turn. He's in a lot of trouble. Uh oh. Okay, someone with an LB 10X, probably. That's a medium guy, too. Let's get back into the swirlies. We're going to start on that vehicle. Uh, yeah. I want to see if we can get rid of this guy. So, um, just one of these guys off, I guess. And fire. Okay, good start. So we have some, st we still have some tough op- Oh, there's four guys back there. Oh, we still have really tough opposition. Most of them are mediums, though, so it might not be that bad. I don't know if they're fully armored yet or not. Yeah. Nice shooting, buddy. Hopefully you shut down. Still override. Holy crap. That was the assault. Okay, we're out of here. Uh, we're going to... Um, Can't shoot from there. Can from here though. <sighs> go with full run. Gotta think about this now. If we go against the bushwhacker now, if he runs, we shoot him in the back, kill him, and get the hell out of here. Or the gauntlet. Sorry, we have to do it. There's nothing else we can do right now. So let's attempt to kill this guy. Firing three. He's super overheated too. He's bound to shut down. Even if he doesn't shoot, he's still bound to shut down. Walking bullet. Pew. What do you need? I can need to see if you can get behind that guy is what I need. Um and you can. Going full throttle. Okay, back shot. Fire everything. Let's soften him up. Okay. So start. What's he doing? Get behind him. Cannot. Almost though, like one more hex. No shooting, just running. We're gonna go full speed along this side. We have to. Uh, okay, gauntlet. Uh, I'm just going to fire the three mediums that do the most damage. Target acquired. All right, one hit, not bad.
Damn it. At least most of the LB10 exit missed, I mean. Alright, vigilance please. Full sprint. Um Let's just push this guy straight into his face. It's the farthest we can go with giving us good selves or giving ourselves good protection here. Our armor is slowly being stripped. Uh, let's give this guy a target. Both LRMs. We can't fire. Damn. Okay, light rifle LRM 15. Let's fire. Like I said, I hope he shuts down. 45 tonner. Wish I knew what these guys were. Phoenix Hawk. Okay, he's fully armored too. Hunchback. Really? AC-20 back. Oh, man. Yeah, and he's going to turn towards us so we don't get his back. Come on, overheat and shut down. There it is. Okay. Now, does he have an XL engine? Victor? My god, thank god for being in the swirlies. Oh, we're not. Thank God for max evasion. Alright, so this guy is shut down. He's as good as dead. Now, does he have an XL engine? He does. A light engine. So now we have to decide what we want to do here. We stripped his back armor. His left torso is pretty much damaged. I think we attempt to burrow through this side. All his ammo's over here, his thunderbolts over here. Heavy PPC is where? Right here. Okay, now, um... We're going to get flamers on us, but there's not much I can do. And we're going to fire everything at... Well, most of our guys are on the left side, so let's go for the left, left torso. Doesn't really matter. I never hit where I want to hit anyway. Okay. We may make them panic and bail out too. That'll help. Okay, Hickory. Yep. I don't think you need to move, girl. Well, you probably should. Let's just walk back here. Heading out. Save a little bit of heat. I think we should be able to use both. Oh, the CT is taking a lot of damage. I'm gonna aim for the CT, which is weird. I shouldn't be able to hit it from here. Uh, but we are gonna go into overheat status because we need to kill this guy. Yeah, we're on the wrong side for that, but I'm generating a lot of heat. that's okay. You'll cool off next turn. Um, what are we at now? Yeah, see, I knew I was going to take those flamers. That's fine, though. We're going to be going over this hill in a second if we kill this guy. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Um, okay, he's backing up. What's he got left here? Still 89. A lot of torso damage on that one. Okay, recoil. Um, man, this is a tough one. Let's get behind me. We need maximum evasion on this one. And... We need maximum chances to hit on this one. How much can we unload? Yep, we're gonna go for CT and fire everything. Okay, that looked like two hits in the CT there. Yep, Ferro Fiber's destroyed. Solid 
Unsteady. Pylon, you can finish this you can finish this up, buddy. All you gotta do is hit him. Thirty-nine left. That totally worked in our favor. Good to go. So your right side is damaged, so let's see if we can move up and turn our left. Ah, we can't really. On it. Okay, buddy. It's all yours. All you gotta do is hit that CT. Um, gonna shoot for the CT. Question though. No, we go with the three big ones. Acknowledge. There it is, folks. Yeah, baby. Enemy down. Okay, now all we have to do is get out of here. Four against six right now. We're taking a bit of damage. Here comes their angry shots. Good luck. We're going to pull back over this hill. See if we can bring the... Uh, well, they got seven, but I don't really count the bullet over there. We're going to see if we can bring the fire starter forward. Hmm. Oh my god, I'm getting so lucky. Let's see if we can kill this guy. How much he's got left in the CT-29? <laughs> Let's just fire on him, see what happens. No. Nice. Got past the armor. Okay, recoil. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> We're gonna try and get out of here. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know, I don't know why I'm laughing. We could get killed easily on the way out. But at least now we have the choice to bail if we have to. Plus 20 heat, eh? Yeah, I know. That's coming from the vehicle. So our main guy had a mech in a vehicle with him. Cold metal's got to go first. That's a full sprint, eh? Let's get down here. I know we're going to be overheated, but I got no choice. Yeah, he's just going to sit there next turn. I think we got enough to be able to just sit there. Okay, buddy. You know what your job is today. Confirmed. Let's get our bonus payment. Fire on the side of this guy. There we go. There's our bonus payment. This guy's overheating too. Oh, he hit. Nice shooting, Tex. I can't take much more of this. Yeah, that's okay. We're out of here. Relax. You all you have to do is survive this bombardment, and we're out of here. It's a huge risk, but I had to take it for the thirty-three percent bonus. Pylon understands. Oh my god, he hit the arm. I'm losing weapons to yeah, I know, you need to run. Damn it. Um, okay, we gotta get out of here. So, where is our evac point here? Right here. So it's not so bad. Um. What do you need? 
Let's walk down here. Copy that. And let's just fire. We want to shoot on the wheeled ABC. I think we might be able to take it out. Uh, let's use the alarm 20. I don't know if we'll be able to take it out, but we can do some damage to it anyway. Maybe before we leave, we can take it out. Kind of melee, are you? Good luck catching me after this turn. I'm kind of sad that we lost those medium lasers, but... Yes, come in. On my way. Double time. Okay, pylon goes next. Thaka, thaka, thaka. Should be able to get over this hill here. Standing by. Uh, let's get into the swirlies up here, just in case someone can see us. Got our left side turned to them, so we'll do that. It should just be a, uh, just gonna brace, get our heat back. It should just be a, um, plus I don't want to leave pylon behind. Um, it should just be a straight out of here now, I hope. He shut down. Guess who's getting a full range of LRM-20s and some LRMs from this guy next turn. 80 tonner. You know what? No, we're not. We're out of here. Order. See how far you can go. Actually, that um, Phoenix Hawk shutting down was a really good thing because he's, I think he's their fastest mech. Well, with the exception of the fire starter. What's this guy doing? Okay, we're going to reserve Hickory. Orders. Double time. Let's go. Okay. See what they do. Gonna reserve again. Full sprint. Pilot is gonna catch up to me, no problem. Just moving her last because if anybody comes into view, she can shoot them. But right now Got she'll it. just sit Send there. The Should be able to evac. There comes that damn fire starter. Okay, he's guarded. He's just getting um, Ready for order. eyes on so their uh, missile launchers can shoot at us. He's on sensor lock. The angle on me. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Don't worry, buddy. Barely hit, Commander. Yeah, that's not barely, but whatever. Hickory's going to reserve. I wonder if she can hit this guy from over there. Maybe. Oh, we don't have eyes on him, though, unfortunately. So, let's go pile on first. I know it really doesn't matter, but... Stay down here. Roger. See where they're going here. Yep. Can move her around here. Don't need her right yet. We might need her next turn, and I don't want these guys to see her. Okay, recoil we can move. Almost there.
This firefly is becoming pesky. Okay, two misses. Hickory's going to reserve. We should be able to LRM that guy. Damn it. Critical hit. Saw that. Got Vigilance going on him now. He should be able to go before he gets shot next turn, I think. I'm just concerned about crossing this gap right here. If these guys move forward, they might see, a, see, see all of us crossing this gap. It's going to be a problem. So their assault guy go first. I'm gonna move Hickory up for a bit of a pop tart on this guy. So she's gonna move before these guys next turn anyway. So Phoenix Hawk, Victor, Bushwaka. They have another whacker, eh? Let's fire in the Phoenix Hawk. Why not fire everything? Wow, that's a lot of hits. Okay, Pylon's going first. Receiving you. How far can you get? Gonna be overheating, eh? Can't afford to shut down here. Yes, command. All right, we got one inside. Aye, aye. Yep. I may have to overheat Pylon next turn to get him across that gap. Yeah, they're coming into view now. Damn it. Oh, Hickory, we have to give them more targets. Need a distraction, girl. And I hate to have to put you through this, but out. gotta get piling across that gap, girl.
Okay, recall you stay at the back here. You got it. Shit. That's not good. Okay, I got two choices. I can leave piling up here. Hopefully they don't see him. They're not going to see him. So we're going to do... Yes, Commander. We're going to reserve. I'm going to vigilance. And then we're going to do a double move at the end of the turn. And then we're just getting the hell out of here. Hopefully the Hickory survives this. I don't want to lose an LRM off this. I forgot about the sensor lock. That's my bad. Send me a real mech warrior. I could have done it without that. Wow. I'm under heavy fire. Here. Yeah, you can survive it. Relax. Uh, Ready for orders. We'll sprint, buddy. Don't care if you're overheating. You got to get across there. I'm starting to cook. I'm just so terrified of losing a mech here. Um, they're up that hill, eh? Man, okay, um... Good to go. We run the risk of shutting down. Doesn't really matter what we do, we're gonna, there's a chance to shut down here. Shit. Is overheating. shit, shit, shit. Engine critical. Shutting down. Ready for order. Don't know if we're going to get out of here. That guy didn't move very far. Um. Damn it. Armor blow through. Internal damage. Hang on, buddy. We're almost gone. Okay, I'm thinking about having to bail out of this. 
Centurion might be able to take on this guy. To draw fire away from um, the Phoenix Hawk, but I don't know. He just doesn't have the speed to keep up with the Phoenix Hawk in order to be able to, like... Like, I could just move into, like, hidden area here, and then it would just force them to attack the Phoenix Hawk. So I really don't want to do that, but... If I leave my right side... I got a chance of losing this though. <sighs> Sorry buddy, but I got no choice. We're gonna vigilance pile on anyway. Fuck. Wasn't much I could have done about that. Well, hopefully we didn't lose the mech. Hopefully we didn't lose Pylon. Damn it. We were so close to getting out of here. Parting gift for you. Damn it. That was pretty overwhelming for one and a half skulls, I gotta say. Alright, let's go home. Oh, God. Hooray, we got our contract payment increased by 33%. <laughs> Not that it's going to matter. Oh, pylon, no injuries. Okay. But we lost a lot of stuff. Although we got the XL gyro. and it's, uh, Okay, so some of the a lot of the good stuff stayed. Oh, man. Now I got to figure out what we're going to take here. Endo and Pharaoh probably. We're gonna need these. Well, that sucks. We need to go milk. We need to do some milk runs, man. We have to do milk runs now. This is crazy. So let's confirm this. Uh, two bushwhacker parts, Centurion and a hunchback part. Meh. Medium laser, mining drill, AC-10 ammo. Wow. Sorry, man, we don't have it. Okay, so I'm going to need to figure out what we're going to do between episodes here. That was a long mission. It was a hard mission. Um, we did manage to keep the Phoenix Hawk, though. So we do have an engine that we can replace in this guy. Centurion needs a major refit. Both the Fleet and Jenner took a little bit of damage, but not too much. Actually, let's refit these guys. It's just armor repair, I think. So, what does it, it doesn't actually, just got to remax out the armor on these guys, I think. Yeah, what else do we take? A leg hit here. Wow, they almost penetrated this guy. Uh, CT's fine, so that's it. Let's just confirm this. Four days, 8,000, we can do that. Okay, and the flea. So I think we're going to jump planets. Let's refit this one. And what do we got damaged here? I've got an arm damage. And double heat sink gone. I don't think we have any double heat sinks, do we? Uh, I don't think so. Cooling? Nope. Do we need it for the engine? We do need it for the engine. Uh, let's leave it there for now. And just, just confirm this. 
And what else do we got? Phoenix Hawk is a major refit. Centurion. Let's have a look here. Let's replace the arm. So we just, what did we lose in the arm? Just a hand, eh? Yeah, but we took like major armor loss here. Um, what do we have in the torso? I don't even remember what we had in the torso. So this was 45. But then that was 80 in the arm. Now, do we have a hand here? We do. We've got lots of hands. Uh, let's. I don't know what we had here. Oh, that's the structure that got repaired there. Okay. Uh, did we have? Were we? I think we were maxed out, weren't we? Pretty sure we were. All right, let's max this out. See where we're at here. Yeah, almost. That looks right to me, I think. Okay, so it's 19 days, 91,000. So let's confirm this. Oh, God, I didn't want to do this now, but I'm kind of like, we kind of have to. Let's manage the tasks. Centurion up to the top. Uh, and let's look at selling some stuff in the store now that we have to. So we need to keep some engines. I mean, we do have some really great stuff in here that we can utilize now. Um, I mean, we got the boomstick and everything. Hammer fist. Let's sell this heavy PPC. I don't think we're ever going to use it. Uh, so that's 100,000 right there. Light rifle. I need. I was keeping this as a backup for the Centurion, so let's hang on to that. Uh, LRM-5. Let's just sell that. Let's sell the LRM-10. These things we can pick up pretty much any time. Um, what else? If you use any SRM2s, it's going to be the bonus one. So let's sell two of these guys. And... we got two Thunderbolt 5s. Let's sell both of these guys. I don't think we're going to use the 5s. The 10 we might use. I know we're definitely going to keep the 15s and the Ultra 10. Uh, what else do we have here? Got to keep the Fusion Cores. Still need more money here, guys. Where is it coming from? Uh, do I want to sell the Artemis system? Ammo is a waste of time selling because I'm not going to get much for it. Let's go back up to the top here. All right, what do we got? AC-20. Chances are using this anytime soon. is probably pretty low, so let's get rid of that. AC-10. We've got the Clan Ultra, so let's just sell this. And the AC-2 as well. Um... Well, it's plus five damage auto can. Let's hang on to it. We might end up getting a mech that can use it sometime in the future. So let's just hold on to that. The ER mediums. Let's sell the inner sphere one and keep the clan. Clan, we got to keep that. ITM, large laser. Sell that. All right, so we have enough now for the financial report. We need enough to be able to jump as well. Let's. Sell a couple of well. Let's hold on to the medium lasers. I'm gonna need them for the uh, Phoenix Hawk. Um, hmm. Mining drill, MRMs, small lasers, wrecking ball, SRM fours, and the sixes. We're probably. I mean, we're gonna get these at some point. All right. So we got enough for a jump now and a. Uh, financial report so yeah let's have a look at the command center real quick here we do have that one there's a robbery mission which is an ambush convoy 
abandoned dropship. One skull. I mean, we could take this and go... Go all cash on it. But it's a... I mean, I don't know. Heavy Lance at one skull. Who knows, right? Defend base. One skull. No, thank you. So we need to move. So let's move systems now. Uh, let's see what we got here before the end of the month. So we got 23 days. We'll have our Centurion back. We'll have our Lance back before the end of the month. So I think we'll be okay. Well, we won't have the... Uh, Phoenix Hawk back though. Do I want to start work on it? That's the question. I think I do. Well, yeah, let's leave the episode here. I'm going to figure it out between episodes. And when we come back next time, I'll have made a decision on what we're going to do. Chances are we're going to jump systems. I'm trying to move further away from the clans right now so we can get that Wolverine up and running. I want to use the Ultra AC-10 on that guy, I think. Either that or make him a full melee mech. I'm not 100% sure yet, but uh, we'll figure that out. All right, so if you liked the video, please drop a like. If you can, uh, if you got any comments, drop them down below. That was kind of a tricky mission. I was ready to bail there until the uh, Bushwhacker moved in close and was overheating. So, or sorry, the Gauntlet. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That was a, there's not much I really could have done there. I guess I could have bailed out, but then we would have lost... You know, a, whole, a ton of stuff would have been seen as a failed mission and all that stuff. But I thought we did okay. The fact that we lost, we didn't lose the Phoenix Hawk, but it got destroyed was, was pretty bad. Anyway, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And until next time, we'll see you all later.